All right, everybody, Bold and Curious here. So uh, this is the day, day one of Microtech Pro AM uh, three gun match at Clinton House, uh, South Carolina. Uh, I figured I'll, I'll give you a little heads up uh, how it works. <clears throat> so Pro AM means uh, you got paired up with a pro shooter. Now don't get don't get hang up on a word pro. Not every one of them was like X ring, <laughs> All right? Uh, my guy was was uh, uh, experienced. Was a good guy. So if you hear in the background of the video somebody yelling yardage or power up, power down, that's my guy telling me what to do. Basically, uh, that guy could do everything. He could coach you. He can hand you the magazine. He can hand you the shells. He can do everything but shoot the match for you. So that was awesome. Uh, second, uh, the targets. All the white knockdown steel was either rifle or either sorry either shotgun or pistol depending on the stage description all the orange steel was rifle all the clamshell paper which is ipsic paper was uh, rifle all the uspsa paper uh, and white steel was uh, or should i say all the usp uspsa paper was uh, pistol only and usually the white steel you had a choice uh, 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 right, uh, shotgun or, pay, or or pistol, and all the uh, all the clays were shotgun only. So some of the stages you had the option, you know, you, you were shooting the shotgun, you ran dry, you had the option to reel the shotgun or go to a pistol. So I figured I'll let you know ahead of time. Uh, now uh, we started on Friday at almost one o'clock, I think, which actually worked out for me because I got there late uh, uh, Thursday night. So I kind of had a chance to get situated and figure out what's what, meet up with uh, uh, X Mr. X-Ring and uh, Rick from Is This Six Covered. Big shout out to both of them. Uh, now, I didn't go to the match with the high expectations, okay? I'm a pistol shooter, I'm a semi-decent, I'm a, I'm a uh, borderline A shooter in a carry optics. I was shooting tech ops, which means I was shooting uh, iron sights. Uh, and uh, this was a really humbling experience for me. Uh, still, still loved every minute of it. Uh, I guess enjoy the day one. Ready. Stand by. Well, I did have a plan in head, and I sort of stuck to it, but shotgun came back and bite me in the butt. It was probably my weakest uh, point, shooting the shotgun. Not reloading, shooting the shotgun.
this was one of my first malfunction. I this got stuck, so it took me a while to get it out, but overall I got it, got over it fast. Uh, pistol shooting was fairly strong, as it should be. I wish I had a, uh, uh, my aim cam uh, on right now, and you can see from the inside, it was really difficult to shoot. I was sitting up against the side of the wall. The tailgate of the Suburban was very hot, so really difficult. I was doing good at 100 and 200 uh, yard shots. There was a, a know your limits uh, at, at about 100. I did good on that. Uh, I just simply timed out. I was I wasted way too much uh, time on the shotgun. Three thirty. Time. 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 Stand by. Come on. Again, had a good plan. Finally figured out how to use the aim can. Uh, reloading was good, it's just the shooting part of the shotgun. Come on!
So right at this point, I could not see okay. absolutely nothing in my scope. I can see uh, a fucking thing. I made a mistake of using uh, earmuffs. I should go to blocks. And uh, uh, my my uh, power was all the way to 10. So what the? when I zoomed down, that's when I could actually see something. All right. Come on! My plan was not to waste the time on the long distance target. There was one to the left at about 150, and then uh, there was one at like 300, uh, 180, uh, 150, and uh, there was a little uh, like a rack, a plate rack, with a little like a two inch uh, steels hanging down, at about 80 yards. And even X Street had actually a little hard time with those little, little steel targets. So, other than having an issue on the beginning, not being able to see anything, uh, after that, I, I did okay. Uh, I didn't time out, uh, so that kind of put a smile on my face at the end of the day. All right, a little fast recap. Uh, shot three stages today. Uh, like I said before, we, we the shooter meeting was one o'clock. We really didn't start shooting at 1.30 or so, I, I believe. So done by six o'clock, that's not bad. Uh, first two stages I timed out. Uh, was my my fault. I, there was a long shots, anything over 300. I knew I was gonna have an issue because I never tried it with the scope. So I didn't really have a dope. 
yeah, I was just praying and praying what I should have done is take two shots, move on, take two shots, move on, and take the penalties. But I'll know better next time. Uh, then on the third stage, I finally woke up. I shot it at 130 seconds, not the best time. Again, rifle shooting, I was kind of slow because we're shooting from the roof. That it's not as simple as it looks. Uh, the rest of it went pretty good. So all in all, I'm excited. This place is amazing. It's just 2,400 acres. I mean, you can drive here for miles. You can get lost over here. So uh, I'm definitely coming back here again. This this was this was this is awesome. Hopefully next two days I'll do a little better. Uh, I got no anticipation of winning uh, uh, AM or anything like that. But I would love to end up with maybe no maybe top 50 percent if i can that would be nice if not i'll take take this as a learning experience either way everybody's super friendly you know uh really i'm on the squad with uh it's just six covered uh, uh, uh tony marfion from micro tech knives and uh ray at the x rank so uh jason my pro uh got his last name I'm gonna annotate it <laughs> he's been awesome basically he, every time I run the stage he would be behind me and telling me don't forget this don't forget this he's telling me the, the the yardage for the target so that was that was a big help you know plus he was there if I drop something he would just hand it over like extra mag whatever so if you have a chance to shoot this absolutely go for it worth every penny um, I'm gonna try to put the footage together something tonight and here's Rick calling so I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys later.